up guys? Today's workout went really good. I'm really happy with my bench. I'm reducing my bench from three times a week to two times a week and usually that means my bench progress gets hindered. But the highlight of today's workout was I was able to hit 295 or five sets of four. And uh, next week I'm gonna do 295, five sets of five and I think I can do that. <laughs> happy with that because once again I'm losing weight and I was really scared that by reducing the frequency that my bench is going to go down but right now uh, it seems like it's going up so I'm really really happy with that before I bench though I hit a high bar squat just once again to hit the quads and I'm doing it at a different rep range four sets of seven with 275 just to get some volume in after the bench I did a bunch of supersets now and now when I'm doing these supersets it's for bodybuilding and I'm doing three sets of 12 on everything just to kind of maintain a nice pump so that when I uh, do my movie scenes and I'm shirtless, I'll look good. And of course, in order for those muscles to come out, I also have to get leaner, which is something that I am working on right now. But just because you're lean doesn't mean your muscles are gonna look full. So I'm doing a lot of supersets to really get all my show muscles, like my shoulders, my back, my arms really like nice and puffy and tight as much as I can. So my first superset was behind the neck pull-ups and dips, three sets of 12. Then we moved on to behind the neck lat pull-down with upright rows, three sets of 12. And then we did abs with Bulgarian split squats with three sets of 12. I started adding these in, not just because of a quad workout, but because as I started training uh, screen fighting and Muay Thai for the movie, I realized that I'm so used to squatting, my legs only fire both at the same time. So when I'm learning how to throw like a front hook, um, I'm not able to drive as hard as I can with just one leg. So I'm trying to like redevelop this mind-muscle connection with my mind and one leg, my mind and the other leg, and being able to fire both at the, not at the same time, being able to fire them independently without having to just go straight up and down, which is crazy, because you would think that just by walking, you know, you're able to move your legs, but every time you learn something new, you kind of have to relearn that pattern. So I'm specifically doing Bulgarian squats so that I can learn how to fire uh, just one leg at a time. And then I superset it, uh, some arms, with some tricep push downs and some barbell curls on the cable machine. And when I'm on the cable machine, I like doing high reps to get like a really nice pump. And then at the end, I just finished off with some kicks just to kind of build my coordination. And next week, I'm gonna start my legit screen fighting training. So I'm really, really excited now. And that was it for my workout. Oh yeah, I've been reading the comments on the YouTube as well as the Barbell Brigade Instagram that you guys really liked the hoodie from last week's video. And that hoodie and this hoodie, as well as the shirt that I was wearing on the workout and a bunch of other stuff, we're gonna be launching at the end of this month, February. So make sure you follow the Instagram and stay tuned for that. I'm super excited to launch the most casual looking clothes that Barbell Brigade has put out in a while. And um, I just really like the fit, the color, and everything about this. So stay tuned for that. See you guys next time at my next workout. Peace.